Hello all, welcome back to Answer Writing Initiative at 9 p.m. I'm Guna Madhivanan from Officers IAS Academy. Friends, I'm coming up with an exclusive current affairs program targeting 2024 prelims as well as mains. I have given the features of the course here. If you are interested, you can go through and call to the number given here. All right. So what about the question given? So the question given is related to Indian space policy. So Indian space policy 2023 is described as a futuristic one that will position Indian space sector in 21st century. In this context, highlight the important features of the space policy and outline the roles and responsibilities allocated to different entities. I hope you would have uh, watched my video on Indian space policy. That video would have given clarity to give an answer for this question. Very simple question. Right. If you haven't uh, watched that video, you please watch once again. Okay. So yes, Indian space policy. So here you give an introduction. Your introduction uh, can highlight the missions accomplished by Indian space sector, our success rate, our cost effectiveness, our mission to Mars, our mission to Sun, our mission to Moon, how successful we are. Right, that you can give in the introduction. But however, despite of whatever we have accomplished, our share in the space economy is near 2% because of lack of private participation. So this mooted the government to come up with a space policy to facilitate the private sector's participation in the space sector. This can be your introduction. Briefly, you can mention this. And from there, you can highlight the important features of the policy. What is the feature? Private participation, increase the share of Indian space economy from 2% to 10% in the global space economy. Facilitate the usage of ISRO's data, infrastructure to the private players so that they are getting equipped. And there are space agencies whose role has to be properly defined. So these are the broader features of space policy. Increase the share, improve the private participation make the ISRO's infrastructure available for private players for their development. This is the broader objective. Apart from that, the space policy has outlined the roles and responsibilities. So that also specifically has been asked. Outline the so important features you mentioned, whatever I have said. Outline the roles and responsibilities. We have four agencies, which I have discussed in the video also. That is the InSpace, ISRO, New Space India Limited and Department of Space. Right, those four institutions, what is their role? Briefly, you explain because it is a 10 marker. You cannot keep explaining everything. It's a 10 marker. So, what is the role of in space, Indian National Space Authorization and uh, Indian Space Promotion and Authorization Center? What is the role? Their role, they will act like a facilitator, a regulator, and they will give clearances, single window clearances for the private space projects. So, they will facilitate them. You they, they will facilitate. Uh, in such a way that the private players are able to make use of the ISRO's data, infrastructure, resources to the private players. And they will regulate the space activities of private players. They will give authorization for the space programs of private players. Briefly explain. Then you can uh, talk about the next uh, agency that is ISRO. Right? So ISRO, all the ISROs, see ISRO should focus on research. ISRO should not focus on uh, the, uh, the regular uh, uh, clerical tasks like not clerical tasks but it see the ISRO should focus on pure research focus on outer space explore the possibilities of human space programs demonstrate demonstrate the effectiveness of uh, the insight to experiments should focus on those aspects should not focus on launching the satellites Launching the satellites is something like a taxi service, which private players should be equipped to do that. What SpaceX does in USA, that the Indian private players should start doing it. Yes, they have started already. We have a startup called a Skyroot. They developed uh, their rocket and they have successfully launched it also. So bring more private players. Make them to do the regular services, space services. Let ISRO focus on research. Right, this is what ISRO should do. So ISRO should focus on research, should share the resources with the private players for their 
improvement and efficiency. Then what is the next uh, organization? New Space India Limited. That will be the commercial arm of ISRO. They will try to commercially exploit the space assets developed using public expenditure. Right? That should be the role of New Space India Limited. They should also work alongside with uh, in space and bring in private industries to manufacture the equipments required for the space programs. Right. So, this is what NSIL will do. What about Department of Space? Department of Space will be the nodal agency of the space policy. They will be the coordinator and they will cooperate uh, uh, with the international space agencies for the global space governance and they will also have a dispute uh, redressal mechanism for resolving any disputes arising in space activity. This is what these four organizations give brief, brief explanation. So, we are giving introduction. You are giving the features of the policy and two points or one point, what is in space should do, what ISRO should do, what NSIL should do, what Department of Space should do. And you can conclude, right? So all these ideas, this vision should put into action. Only then we can realize a greater share in the global space economy. We have all the potential, but the success lies on putting the action putting the vision, putting the vision into reality, putting the vision into action. That is what we have to focus. Give a very simple conclusion, right? Simple topic. So, right, Pavitra, so your answer and presentation is really good. See, this for this question, we can, as we know, either introduce with a fact or we can conclude with the fact or we can directly introduce like, Okay, recently India has come up with a space policy which is comprehensive and futuristic. Below are the guidelines outlined by the policy. That can be also your simple introduction. So, Pavitra has started with a simple introduction, but the presentation is very neat. So, you have given the important features, you have listed, and most of the students today have uh, written the answers really well. Right? Particularly, the presentation of uh, Pavitra, that is really good. Others can also make a note, right? So you have listed out the important features, the four important features has been listed out and uh, the roles and responsibilities of the four institutions that is ISRO, NSIL, in space, Department of Space, that is also briefly given, adhering to the word limit. Okay, then conclusion, yes. So what we want to achieve through the space policy, what we want to achieve that has been given us the conclusion right so yes this is definitely a very good answer so pavitra you have done a real good job right adhering to the word limit comprehensively covering all the aspects because i have seen many students they started writing a lot of information regarding these policies we have to trim the points at the same time we have to comprehensively cover the entire policy because that is the question so yes it's a good answer next one Kritika, yes. So, you have started the, with the main objective of the space policy that is ISRO should mainly focus on the research and development. We have to bring in private participation. Yes, intro is fine. You have also given the features of the space policy. Briefly, even Kritika has maintained the word limit. Right? So, briefly, the, four, the main points has been given and also you have mentioned about the role of in space, NSIL, Department of Space, ISRO. So, Kritika, yes, more than the previous question, previous uh, answer, the Kritika's answers, word limit is even more uh, exact and precise. All right. So, I think many students have uh, read the pulse sincerely. We are able to see many students today have written excellent answers. So yes, then comes Pondraj. Pondraj, even your answer is good, but there is one problem. I will explain. Introduction is fine. While explaining the features, you started explaining the uh, significance. Right? Us, ISRO is going to take care. Just research and other departments. Right? Other departments are allotted for different sectors. This is the significance. Since ISRO is going to focus on research, other departments will go for other sectors. This is the significance. Right? You should mention that this policy is 
is i am aiming to focus on research isro should focus on research so it aim, aims to bring in private participation that is how you have to add you have explained as if the significant of this you know space policy this space policy is going to increase india's space global share you can right slight wordings you can change apart from that you have mentioned all the important points a slight wording you could have you know changed responsibilities for the different sectors in space isro nsil that is also fine department of space all those you have mentioned you have also given a decent conclusion right all the three has done well kritika was able to manage with limited words she was able to manage the answer right then the first person that is pavitra pavitra's uh, presentation is really neat right so question for today blue economy blue economy could be the next multiplier of india's gdp and well being however harnessing the benefits of the blue economy is not without challenges elaborate 15 marker you have to write 250 words you have to write 250 words right i hope the initiative is becoming useful i hope it is adding serious value addition into your preparation so we'll see you in next video till then bye take care